Here is the theorem that allows you to use a moment generating function to generate moments. If x has moment generating function m of t, then for some positive integer r, the expected value of x raised to the r power can be found by taking r derivatives of the moment generating function. That's what this notation right here means. The r in parentheses as a superscript means take r derivatives and plug in 0. Now an equivalent but more explicit way of showing this is you can say these are r derivatives with respect to t of the moment generating function and then t equals 0 is plugged in. The proof here is going to be for a continuous random variable x and that's why you see integrals down here and only considering r equals 1 that is the expected value of x can be found by taking one derivative of the moment generating function and plugging in 0. So that's what we're trying to show. <coughs> All other cases are pretty much analogous to this proof. So you start out by taking one derivative of the moment generating function and see what you get. So this will be the derivative with respect to t of m of t and the moment generating function is defined as the expected value of e to the tx. So you get e to the tx multiplied by the probability density function that is f of x dx and since I don't know what the support is, I'm just going to put from minus infinity to infinity to cover everything. Now the next thing that you have here is assuming that this integral and the derivative can be interchanged, you have the derivative with respect to time of e to the tx times f of x dx. And what is the derivative with respect to time of e to the tx? Well, that's x e to the tx times f of x dx. And remember, whenever you are taking the integral over the entire support of something times the probability density function dx, this is the same as the expected value of this something. So finally, when you plug in t equals 0 into this expression, you will notice that e to the tx drops out and you just get the expected value of x which proves the result in the case of r equals 1 for a continuous random variable x.